The Pythagorean theorem is one of those things you see everywhere. You learn it really early in school and you keep using it on and on, even to calculus and above. But the question I want to answer today is, how do we know the Pythagorean theorem is true? How do we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared? So let's just start out with the right triangle with sides a, b, and c, just like you'd think. So the trick we're going to do, and the trick Pythagoras did, is we're going to make four copies of this triangle. And what we're going to do is we're going to arrange those into a square. So as you can see, the hypotenuse of our triangles, that's going to form the outside of the square. So now we've got this big square on the outside, and you can see it kind of formed this little empty hole square on the inside, and that's fine. So the way we're going to show the Pythagorean theorem is we're going to calculate the area of this square, and actually we're going to calculate it two different ways. So let me show you what I mean. So one is we've got this big square. What's the area of it? Well, the area of that big square is just c squared. Okay, well, so what's another way we could calculate the area of that square? Another way is we could add up all the little parts, right? This square is four little triangles. So if we could find the area of each triangle, we could add those up, plus that little square in the middle. So if we could add up the area of each of those four triangles and then add up the area of that little square in the middle, we would have another way of calculating the area of the big square. So calculating the area of the triangles, that's actually pretty easy. We know for any triangle, the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So we can go ahead and plug that in. So the triangle becomes 1 half. The base of the triangle, we were calling that B. The height of the triangle, we were calling that A. Okay, let's look at the little square now. So the little square is really not too bad. What we can see is I can make the square by taking that side B, except I don't want the whole side B, right? In fact, I want to cut out that part A. So I want to take B, but I want to cut out A. So for the little square, its side length is B minus A. So that means the area of the little square is B minus A squared, okay? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of basic algebra here. So four times one half is two. And let's go ahead and square this thing out. So if you foil it out here, you'd get b squared minus two ab plus a squared. And we can see we get some cancellation, right? The two ab and the minus two ab cancel each other. So all we're left with is a squared plus b squared. And on the left, we've still got our c squared. So again, really all this was about was about drawing this big square and calculating the area two different ways. And that's actually a trick that shows up a lot in math is sometimes you can calculate something two different ways. And if you do it those two ways, you're gonna get some interesting information going on. And you'll see that showing up in some more videos. All right, I hope that makes sense. If there's something you don't understand or you want me to talk more about, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get to it. All right, everyone, have a good one.